If you're tired of free to play games that are mostly just cash grabs and want games that you pay just once and play, in other words, premium games, well, this list of premium games of May 2020 will be perfect for you, featuring games from open world RPGs to roguelikes and much more. I'm tired and let's get into it. One of the first things I looked up when Atom RPG's release date was announced was how much playtime could be gotten out of it. The answer, about 35 to 50 hours and according to the Steam community, maybe even more. If you are wondering what Atom RPG is, the basics are it's an asymmetric open world role playing game based in a post apocalyptic setting with turn based combats that's been heavily copied to old school Fallout games like Fallout 1 and 2. It's currently available on Apple's App Store for $8, and the devs posted on their Facebook page that the Android version is still being optimized. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for an Android release date to be announced. In April, Spike Sean Soft announced that anniversary editions of their Gagaropan series of games would be coming to mobile devices to celebrate its 10 year anniversary. The first game in the series, Sugar Happy Avoc finally landed on Android and iOS devices for $18. The game itself is a dark comedy visual novel where a bunch of high schoolers are forced into a death game by their mysterious teddy bear headmaster Monokuma and the main character has to explore, investigate, solve puzzles and get involved in a trial with other students to determine how murders were committed and who committed them. Sugar Happy Avoc is very anime styled to the extent that it even has an anime series based off it. All in all, Danganronpa Chiga Happy Havoc Anniversary Edition should provide over 20 hours of gameplay content. If you're interested in interactive novels but want something with a little less anime infused in it, then an Anapona Interactive published game, If Found, might be just what you're looking for. If Found is a story focused coming of age and coming out game with a little bit of sci fi added into the mix and a unique hand drawn art style pieces it all together. Just be warned that unlike Danganronpa, gameplay in If Found takes a little bit of a backseat to its storytelling. If Found is currently available on Apple's App Store for $5. Justin Rem is a top down action shooter roguelike, set in a post apocalyptic world where plants have taken over. But unlike the dark and depressing world of Atom RPG, Juicy Realm is just so much more colorful, with that art style also influencing gameplay, with everything from lots of weird and unique weapons, colorful enemies, and unique looking bosses, and all the different colorful effects from both player and enemy attacks. As it's a roguelike, you battle fruits through randomly generated levels, get random loot, and come up against random enemies. Because if the game does get too hard, you can always rely on a second player. Although for now it doesn't seem to be online co-op. Juicy Realm is available on the Play Store and App Store for $3. Vengeance RPG is a top-down Diablo style action RPG for mobile devices created by a single dev. It used to be free, but apparently the dev, the Mars TV, have now switched to a premium model with no ads or in-app purchases. As it's part for the course in this type of games, you go around fighting monsters and collecting loot. There are 7 different subclasses and you can switch between them for almost next to nothing. You can also craft and enhance items in the game. Vengeance RPG goes for $3 on Android and iOS, but do know that the game is still a work in progress. But there's a bit of content to play through and the game has been getting content updates regularly. So if you love action RPGs, or you want to support the game dev trying to make premium games for smartphones, I guess you already know what to do. Have you ever wanted to be a giant maker, just stomping on humanoids with your maker feet and crushing them to pieces? Where you cannot live through your weird power fantasy through games operators be a worker. But to be fair, be a worker is more than just a stomping game. The game deals with dark things like colonization, dealing with supposed savages, and it's even reflected in gameplay, where you can take down the natives with extreme prejudice or decide to fight for them, and there's even more twists and turns in between. Be a worker is available on the Play Store and App Store for $5.
The other side is an Apple Arcade exclusive thumb based survival role playing game. With a unique twist in the fact that it's also a board game. The game setting basically takes place on a board set on a table, and even movements of your forming characters is basically like moving a chess piece. Things like exploration, combat, looting are done with the roll of the dice. And all in all, the other side seems like a good choice for those looking for something a little different in the thumb based RPG genre. If Rebel Cubs picked out and focused on the thumb based combat of This Is The Police, Through the Darkest of Times seems to focus on the sim and resource management aspect instead, but changes the setting to Nazi Germany. There's a deep and historical lesson to be learned from Through the Darkest of Times as it tells the tale of historical oppression of minority in Hitler's Nazi Germany. Through the Darkest of Times is available on Android and iOS for its drivers. Surviving Titan is an open world action RPG with its gameplay and style similar to games like Crashlands and Terraria. In Surviving Titan, you crash on planet Titan and the only way to survive is to explore, craft items, weapons and more from the resources you gather and battle against the wildlife on Titan. Titan itself is a massive randomly generated open world with up to 7 different biomes. If all the crafting you will be doing still isn't enough, there's also 7 different skills to master and you can also find and recruit other survivors. Surviving Titan is available on Google's and Apple's respective app stores for $5. Hyperspace Delivery Service is a space sim resource management trading game with first person spaceship battles all delivered within a unique retro pixel art style. You manage your crew and ship, fly through space while avoiding the perils that come with it, trade with aliens, and there are even FPS combat like Old School Doom and Wolfenstein, plus much more for $4 on all mobile marketplaces. We've talked about role playing games and we've talked about interactive novels. What you probably didn't expect us to be talking about is an interactive live action D&D role playing game with the Dungeon Master acted by Eddie Marcin. From movies and TV shows I've seen, I know a lot of people abroad love this sit at home with friends, questing with your imagination to guide you, and games like Disco Elysium have received rave reviews for recapturing that magic. Death Trap Dungeon also hopes to recapture that magic, though like most interactive novels, it isn't that long. But playing over again to find out what alternate route the story would have taken based on your decision should add a decent amount of playtime. It's available on iOS and Android for $6. And that's it. If you feel I missed any game, let me know. And from premium mobile games, stick with me and I'll see you in the next one.